So we were we were talking about something this morning, an interesting little diversion out of the blue topic we thought we could hit tonight. And it's this idea of people who are stars. And when you're a star in the wrestling business, more more times than not, you have it. And it can be accentuated. But I believe, unlike most things in life, it is not manufactured. It is it is the innate natural gift you were born with of charisma and it. And you can work at it, but you if you don't have it to begin with, it ain't gonna go anywhere. Would you do you agree or disagree with that assessment? No, I think having it as it pertains to professional wrestling is truly probably the biggest thing that makes people stars. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are people who are certain levels of maybe having it and they might start off at a, you know, y'all, everybody's got to start somewhere. So they might not be fully developed, but even in the beginning you see them and you go, that person's got something. They got it. And it's not always, and it's not always work rate. It's that's the most overrated goddamn thing in in the whole sport, the whole work. Oh, okay, thing. I got you. And it, and okay. I mean, I'm not saying you you got to be a slob and not know what you're doing, but I mean, if I wanted to watch gymnastics, I'd go watch gymnastics. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. But yeah, it it is it. It is it. So we we made this comparison. You and I have improved as podcasters over these many many years. Well, Harper has it. Now, he hasn't brought it to the table tonight. And you can't, we can't, it, his it doesn't take direction. And it's tardy. And it's crazy. But it's it. Harper's got it. There is something there. Okay. It's called it. Go watch so, and listen to his channel for wwl interview when they were oh, promoting wait. the revolution he's, rumble he's ready to bring it on the air he says he's on okay so that let's... shit must have come out sideways because he's 15 minutes late after saying okay interesting uh, okay yeah let's uh let's let's get the the superstar added to this I, i'm not sure why he's not... he's the guy he's the guy that shows up after the first match is already in the ring hey guys what's up I don't know why it's not adding him. Oh, there it is. It's calling now. All right. Be nice if he picks up. Oh, it'd be great, wouldn't it? Hey. 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 Maybe he's just call one of us because, I mean, it's just. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he is, the superstar. He got it. What's up, man? Doc, tell him what we're talking about here. So we're talking about. The, the idea that to be a star in the wrestling business, you need to have it. Right. And it is more, that it factor is more important than your move set, your work rate, and in some cases, even your athletic ability. Correct. So now the discussion is, who in today's product has it? I mean, bro, we all know the answer to that. Okay, would you mind sharing it? MJF. He's got it. Yeah, he's got it. You know, he should start wearing condoms. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say... Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to say somebody that folks don't... I'm going to say... I was, trying to say who I, I was trying to say who I was going to say before you said it. I mean, Roman Reigns has it. I mean, right, I know, that that's right, controversial. I Roman Reigns has it. You know who else has it? Who? Jay Briscoe. Yes. Oh yeah. oh, yeah, they got it. I didn't say they. Mark oh. Briscoe, Mark Briscoe is phenomenal. Jay Briscoe has it. Oh, come on. You I mean, got before, before Hopper got on, Hopper's got it. I got it, bro. 
Not the clap or anything. He's got oh. it. Oh. He just said he's got it. He just admitted he's got it. Wow. I, what a humble I got fight. it. Well, well, because I don't wear a face sock. Okay, raising Arizona. Yeah, you see, you got to have three things to truly make it to where, like, this is what you do for a living. You got to be able to talk. You got to have the body. And you got to have, uh, you got to know how to fucking wrestle. You got to have three, well, there's four. You got to be able to talk, have the body, know how to wrestle, and have psychology. You got to. You need three of those to make this a fucking day job. And every now and then, you come across a motherfucker that has all four of them. That motherfucker's going to be, you know, a fucking millionaire. You better sign him to the long-term deal. Yes. So say the four things again, Harper. You got to have a body. Mm -hmm. You got to better wrestle. You got to better talk. And you got to get the psychology down. Like, know how to work. The psychology. And I would... And I would argue that the time we're reviewing now is when the body became more of a of a of a um, a have to have because right. you look at a Dusty, he didn't need the body. No, exactly. You need three of those four to turn this into a fucking day job. If you get if you find a motherfucker that's got all four of them, they're a fucking superstar. Like they're on fucking WrestleMania and, and, and you know main event in, in a fucking foot in a fucking NFL. Size stadium. Who else has got? Who else has it? Oh, uh, I mean, when see you a, think it, let's uh, see. see. Punk has it. Punk has it. Daniel Bryan has it. Hmm. I think he does. Yeah, I think he does too. I think Kevin Owens has it. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin Owens, Owens has it. Kevin Owens has it. I and, think Jay. I think Jay Lethal has it. I think. I, to I be agree. honest. I think uh, Zack Ryder has it. Matt Cord- uh what's his Matt Cordova, whatever his uh, last name is. If he I doesn't he have it, it, if he doesn't have it, that guy had what it take to swim upstream in WWE and get himself over. Right. That's a that says a lot. Mm-hmm. I mean, say what you will, and that's what people putting up roadblocks. Yeah. Say what you will. John Cena was the poster boy for it. Yes. Not my favorite wrestler. Right. That dude gives a bad rap. I was telling Doc today at the 2006 ECW One Night Stand pay-per-view when WWE revived I was it, watching whatever. that the other night. Um, so, I, I look, I'm not a Cena, I'm not like a big Cena fan. I respect the dude. I actually think he, oof, I mean, he was forced down everybody's throat for years, right? We well, all know see, that. He's like he, I, I, I was no big Cena fan, but but he was a name towards me. He That's was for true. kids. He, he was their Hulk Hogan. Very true. He was there to sell T-shirts and buy his. I mean, that's so mean. Fuck, am I going to shit on him for that? What I was no, I hear you. you know, I agree, Harper. What I was going to say, and I told this to Doc years ago, and I was telling him this today. At that 2006 ECW pay-per-view, I I just just had a lot of respect for him after watching that match because there was real-life heat in that building, and those people were ready to riot if Van Damme didn't win that title. And Cena... I mean, look, I know people say, oh, my God, it's not like he was at a, in a war. Look, I'm, I'm not trying to compare it to some, you know, ca- catastrophic circumstances. But they were on top of him and chanting just, you know, bullshit, same old shit. You know, like the, it was the ECW yeah. crowd. And Cena was kind of not the cartoon character of the 80s, or early 90s. But he was the corporate machine guy. That they were, you know, that the WWE is trying to stuff down everybody's face. And here's Van Dam, ECW, and Cena. I mean, there was a botch in that match. But, man, he went out there and those two, like, I, you could just feel the energy. I was energized, Doc. You could feel there was a movement in that building that night. And it was 100% anti-Cena. 
And that dude held it together and went out there and had a hell of a match. And I just, I don't know. I look at that match and I've told this to Doc and Doc agrees. I've told it to other people and they're like, eh, it wasn't that good. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not trying to sit there and sell you on the fact that it was the greatest match of all time. I want you to take the atmosphere into perspective. I want you to take the opponent, the pay-per-view, and then what he dealt with, with everybody on his back. That dude just went with it. And he went out there and put the, put Van Dam over. And it, it was just, I mean, you could feel it. If you go watch that match now, we reviewed you will it feel on it. this show. I, I know. know it's been years ago. Because when he first got into wrestling, where was he trained at? OVW. OVW. Yes. Trained by who? Cornette. You're right. Well, not just so, Well, he I came mean, from, so, didn't he come from Bassman first? Right. That's oh, what you, I'm saying. Like, he, I'm not saying he was in the fucking territories like in the fucking early 80s, but he at least came up in a, a non WWFE product first. If well, you took some. But, but but if you took some motherfucker where well, that's all they've ever been exposed to, they would have froze the fuck up, bro. And they would have been fucking up spots left and right. Okay, so here's the other thing. Well, in fairness, OVW was... A, yeah, the, the, right, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what See, you mean. Y'all are just, pissing just off all the up. audience talking about no, Cena. Let's piss because, off like, the... NXT is still their yeah, I got product. You. I got it's still you. I got fan you. base. I, I Let's talk about really who is. else has it. You know, when I think it, I think Tracy Smothers. Yeah, Tracy had it. Ricky Morton. Yeah, Ricky Morton had it. I mean, fuck, if you're talking about guys like that, fuck, we can be talking all goddamn night about that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, obviously, Flair had it, Arn had it. Right, but your, right. your original, your original question was who, who in modern wrestling has it? Right. I don't. Was, I mean. Was what you originally asked. So we said Jay Lethal. I mean Jay Briscoe. Think, we said uh, Kevin Owens, Charlotte, Charlotte Roman. and Becky have it. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Um, so you said current though, Doc. So what other current sure, ones okay. do you have? Hmm, interesting. We may be coming to the end of the list. I mean, it's hard. It's not an easy discussion to have. No, Kenny Omega think, don't have it. That dude just... I think ugh. Cody does. Cody I might. Don't. You don't I think don't. so? I think <sighs> that there's an extraordinary effort by people who need greatness in their lives to make a guy <laughs> who's a really damn good professional wrestler be transcendent because it's Dusty's kid. There's nothing, no shading it. What he did... Hey, what he did with that torn peck is beyond commendable it's beyond admirable it was gutsy does he have it to be to me he's an ic champion and that's about the ceiling oh i think he could be more than that I, i'm i'm i don't want to turn this into a bash cody but i'm just i don't think he's got it i think he's a no? hell of a talent i think mm -hmm. he's i think he's a hell it doesn't of a mean that hey most of the roster is not going to be it, and you need the rest of the roster to be solid professional wrestlers. Yeah. Well, I don't think Seth Rollins has it. I think he can go. I I think he's a hell of a professional wrestler. I don't think he's got it. I'm with yep. you, Doc. I don't think Dean Ambrose or Moxley or whatever his name's got it either. Nope. That's nice. I just don't. I mean, what do you want me to say? I mean, so who, here's else, the thing. who else, Doc? You watch if you go back, and, and, and it's key. You go back and you watch um, Austin and WCW, which we're going to do before too long. That guy had something. Now, it doesn't mean like Tracy Smothers was never the world champion in, in a big promotion, and it never there were too many roadblocks. But you could tell, stunning Steve Austin had something. Am I wrong? No. It's easy to court Monday morning quarterback that, but that guy jumped off the page. Yeah. Yeah. If you flew into 1992 and 90, like if you flew into when he comes in, you could just go, okay, the dude's got something, but it's easy for us to say that now because we saw what he became. It's always easier to do that. Okay. Doc, I'm gonna throw a name out at you. I want to ask you if this guy's got it. 
Eddie Kingston. I think so. He's got three and a four. I know. That's why I say that. That's exactly why I said it. <laughs> it 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 enough to be the guy. I don't oh, know. Oh well, yeah, fuck. I don't know about being your. You know. But there's something uh, uh, there's something intangible intangible about what he brings to the presentation that draws you in. I because, you need a, because you, he reminds you of just some fucking raw bone asshole sitting on a bar stool that you don't want to fuck with. He may not look like Lex Luger, but you don't want to fuck with him. And, and, he might and I think serious, he, he's cutting a promo on you while he's kicking your ass. Right. <laughs> okay. And, and when you say Doc, yeah. you got to Here's the other part you got to clarify. When I asked that question to you, I say, do you think Eddie Kingston has it? You're not saying top of the line. This person is a mega star right now. You're just saying, do they have it? And it means they have the potential to be a seven figure in, earner in or maybe innate, high six an innate charisma to transcend. Yeah. So, so it's not, I mean, he, and I, I don't think, think he's got it. I think Kingston's yeah. too old at this point to become that, but right. yeah. I do believe he's got it. I just don't think it's going to happen for him because of his age and That's fair. you know, where he's at in his career. Look, the guy hammered it out on the Indies for, you know, what, 17 years or whatever. I can't remember how long exactly it was. Yeah. You know, so it's hard to to put that on him. Okay, here's here's one more for you, Doc. For me, obviously, I know the answer to this, but I want to bring it up because he's a star. He gets on my nerves. I don't really like watching him anymore. Chris Jericho. You think he still has it? Oh no, I'm. Well, that's a good question, Hopper. Doc, that's does Jericho still have it? Can you can you lose it? Right. Maybe he. I think he may have eaten it. I mean, Ric Flair doesn't, you know, he's going to wrestle in a couple of weeks and he, he, you know, he's, he's lost a, a couple of those factors because <laughs> he's 72 years old. But, and people are going to spend that $200 on that crap to watch it. Ugh. It costs 200 how- bucks to get the pay-per-view? I think for like the whole thing, the whole star cast thing with the pay-per-view is no. like two something. So what if I would just want to watch the... Uh, the actual wrestling event, man. If I'm spending two hundred bucks, dude, I bet I better get twenty twenty one interest rates on a refi as well, bro. I thought bruh. you was gonna say something. I thought you were gonna say something. You thought so you were gonna say that the mortgage man better come over and give me a rub and tug. I don't want uh, that. Yeah, come on. Okay, I got a couple more guys for you on this. Uh, have it, Ricky Starks, Doc. Up and coming people now is what I'm throwing out at you. Well, he's New Orleans own, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't, here, I'm going to be real honest. Sure. I'll be real honest with everybody here. I, in all honesty, have not seen enough of that guy to even be able to comment. And that's the problem. <laughs> well, maybe. That's the problem. I don't get to watch AEW as much just because of my other obligations in life. Sammy Guevara, does he have it? Maybe. Again, I haven't seen enough of him. He's got and it more that, than that's not his Rick fault. That's my fault. I don't know who that is. I just know from listening to uh, Cornette on a podcast. I just know these names, but Sammy Guevara's he, been on our show, son. When? Five years ago, maybe. Oh, really? Jade Cargill, Doc. She could. She's maybe. got it. The yeah, look. She- she got she it. She has a, a ton of of potential if she surrounds hey. herself. Uh, if she surrounds herself with the people that can guide I, her and actually teach her. I said it years ago. The guy who had it that squandered it and didn't cultivate it was Enzo Amore. Yeah. I don't know, Doc. I don't think he was ever going to be a good enough wrestler. That to may be true, Michael to, Hayes, bro. Yeah, but the thing different is, time, different time. I'm, I'm aware. When Enzo, it seemed like every promo was, it was like a one trick pony almost. It was the same. Well, it, you've got to you've got to take it and cultivate your your craft after you have it. Fuck, he's jacked up now. You seen a, a recent picture of him? For for what though? What you mean? <laughs> What's he gonna do with the, all that jacked upness? Whatever the hell he wants, Hopper. Okay. 
Continue uh, what you were saying before me and Doc rudely cut you off about uh, Enzo. You were saying yeah, something about a one one trick pony because or... I remember watching him on when he was on Raw and it, it was the same kind of he would repeat the same uh, catchphrases. The Michael mean, P.S. Hayes wasn't really repeating the same catchphrases. But the different time there is also Michael Hayes was given the freedom to develop that where Enzo was. That is true. That's true. They were in I mean environment. Michael Hayes probably at the age of 19 or 18 got thrown in the deep end and said, figure it out. Hey, Doc, one more before we jump to the next topic, before we get to Saturday night. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Young Bucks. Do they have it? <laughs> they what they have is go away heat. You know what they are. I was they got about this. <laughs> what they you know what they are, Harper. You know what the young bucks are. Right. You know, like in the glory days of the hair metal that we've talked about, you had the LA guns and the and the rat. Yeah. And those kind of bands. They're like autograph? You, no, no. Autograph was in the early eighties. Okay. These guys were the guys who had their debut album in like ninety or ninety one. Oh, like they were late to the party. Like and kicks. It, it was yeah, it was over when they kicks was around for a long time though. Yeah. But it was over when they got there. And they were like, dudes, let's party. And everybody else was on to grunge. That's that's the young bucks for me. No, they don't have it. So you're saying um, like they're like a dinosaur just showing up right when a fucking Meteor, the meteor yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm here. That's Wait, nice. why is it cloudy up? Why is it cloudy up in the sky? Oh, no. Uh oh. Um, one more for me. Speak. Uh, mod- modern wrestlers that have it, and then I'm gonna move to the, and then I'll throw it to you, Doc, for the last part of it. Uh, I do believe FTR has it as a tag oh, yeah, team. They got it. Yeah. And I just want to say, if you're listening to this on the YouTube channel, post in the comments, modern wrestlers. Wrestlers that have it based on the criteria that you. Hopper I got one for you, uh, mentioned Mike. a little while ago. Okay, go ahead. Randy Orton. Yeah, Randy Orton has it. He's got it, but he don't do nothing for me. Never has. Well, because okay, so he's, let me follow I, I up. He's a great heel. Matt Riddle. Go away, Heat. I don't <laughs> even know these. Like, I, I, I don't think I've ever seen him wrestle. I just like hear him. Does he really have like birds fly out of his? Like they got some graphic. <laughs> he only listens to Cornet. Yeah, like, like like is that for real? <laughs> <laughs> so he wears. He comes to the ring in like a scuba suit, but it's got shorty shorts, and he's on a one of those razor scooters. Uh huh. And he's wearing slides. He wrestles barefoot. He's but wearing, he like, the fucking flip-flop thingies? Yeah, but they're slides. Yeah. And when he gets in the ring, he jumps with his feet and kicks his feet both straight out, and the flip-flops go flying. <laughs> when they do, there's <laughs> birds or butterflies or whatever. <laughs> I feel like the answer is no, just for me having to explain that. <laughs> Um, yeah. So yeah, if you're listening to this and you're like, I can't believe you didn't say, you know, somebody's going to say Jay White, somebody's going to say Zack Sabre Jr. Why did we forget so-and-so? So I'm telling you, Mike's ready to hear your, your argument. Well, post it in the comments on YouTube. State there your you case go. there. That's, that's how those, you do it. 